The infamous, you have 50 guys in one night. I did 50 guys in one night. What's up YouTube and welcome to Modern Fusion TV. Guys, today we got a jam-packed video today, guys. We got the main event, Boss Babe defend her right or choice to consume as much eggplant, as much sausage as possible, aka the joystick, the meat. So let's take a look at this video, how she defend her choice, her right as a modern woman, aka high body count. Let's get it, guys. Well, hold, hold, hold up, guys. Before we get to the video, guys, don't forget to drop a like, a comment, and most of all, subscribe if you find value in this video, guys. Let's get into the video now, guys. Women's body count does not matter because it is not a tell of someone's character. I don't even know why this has to be said. So you're telling me that, let's say within a span of 10 years, a girl has eight boyfriends in 10 years, huh? And she was committed, no cheating on any of her boyfriends. It just happened to not work out. That's a body count of more than five. Does that mean she is not committed and she is flawed of character? How many girlfriends have you guys had? And even if the girl didn't have committed relationships and she just had sex with other people, you do know what a dating app is, right? A girl can be promiscuous and then once she has a boyfriend, she's super loyal. A guy also doesn't have to be promiscuous to be able to cheat. The use of something as natural as sex to bring someone down, that is a show Stop of it. your character though. Get some help. Holy shit, the delusion continue. Guys, I'm, I'm still trying to watch this shit, guys. Bear with me. If I'm watching it, this shit, guys, you guys gotta watch this shit too. It seems to me that there are two conversations to be had. The first conversation is, what is wrong with women who have more than five as a body Going to church, What is bitch. wrong with body count? And the second conversation is, is it wrong for men to have their own standards? Now, according to the gentleman in this video, he says that he is simply stating his own standards. And you will see a lot of men and some pick me women in this comment section agreeing, saying that, hey, why are you guys so mad? It's not wrong for someone to have standards. He's just stating his preference after all. I think this is where I want to jump in because there's a difference between a standard and a preference. So if you look at the definition of standard, it means level of quality or attainment. And the definition of preference is a greater liking for one alternative over another or others. Now you can see why there is a little bit of a communication problem here because standard. I did 50 guys in one night. The illusion continues being his grave right now, twisting and turning, going, You can't make this shit up. What is wrong with these women? Seriously, what is wrong with these women? Standard and preference are not interchangeable, but it's okay. It's okay if you didn't know. Now let's put a pin on that and go back to the other point of conversation. What is wrong with a woman or a partner who has more than five as a body count? I understand in the original video that this gentleman didn't say that it was something wrong. But because his caption said that it was his standard, of course the implication is that, again, with a meaning of standard, it is below quality, right? So let's break this down and look at it through a scientific and physiological lens and a psychological moral lens. The only reason I can think of in a physiological standpoint is that you think that after more than a certain number of men, a woman kind of loses her. But so many experts on the subject, aka doctors, have said that this is not true at all. In fact, it would probably be the same if I claimed that men get shorter the more women he sleeps with. Because, you know, do you get shorter? So if it isn't scientific a standard, then it's probably a moral standard for you. So it could be that this gentleman is implying that women who have slept with more than five men are morally bankrupt. Like automatically, she is a bad egg. She's going to be a bad mother. She's going to be a bad girlfriend, all that stuff, right? But I have a question for you. What if you start dating this girl, right? And she is the most amazing woman you've ever met. Let or a uh, swan 10. One 10? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'd rather. Let's say the model housewife. She cooks well. She does a Shit. Bullshit. Mind cleaning up after you. You can see that she's good with kids. 
she never swears. Without asking her how many men she slept with, would you know? Check. No, you won't. No one can. Oh, anyway. Look, we all have preferences and standards. And the only person who really has to know your standards and preferences is the person you're seeing. Because everyone oh, else shit. literally did not ask. Especially when you use your preference as an excuse to feel morally superior. Going to church, bitch. Stop it. Get to I, have, I have to put on my smart glasses here because I, I don't understand um, this, this level of thinking from these modern women thinking that it's it is okay to like um you know just have as much man just pounding you all the time thinking that oh you know you're not gonna run in one day into a mandingo that's gonna stretch you out you think all the time you're gonna be like tight like this and what is this man getting smaller doesn't work like that for men because don't forget you know the the, the penis is like a, a balloon that fills with blood right so it doesn't matter how much you pound that sweet watery guts it's not gonna shrink so what is she thinking about what is the mindset behind thinking like do you get small doesn't work like that you know if, if you're 12 inch or 12 inch if you're four you're four inch that's just the way it works for men you can't expect that you're going to be pounded all the time by different sausages. Bam, bam, bam. And thinking at some point you're not going to be loosey-goosey. That's, that's like saying, you know what? A brand new tire is, is equivalent to a tire that's been on the road for 50,000 miles. Nah. There's wear and tear. And this is what modern women don't seem to understand when it comes to man and value and what we're looking for in a woman. But anyway, I digress. This is the illusion thinking of modern women. But anyway, let's bring in this other individual that's gonna break it down for her why high body count matters to a man. Let's take a look. Or should I say, let's take a listen. And maybe she can take a listen too. Who knows? Body count. Why are men so concerned with women's body count? But men's body count are twice as much, but obviously don't matter. Well, here's the thing. You have to understand that there's a great difference between males and females. Men and women are not the same. You are not equal. And the sex is not the same for you. Men mark their territory. The higher your body count is, the less likely he can bond you and bind you to him as his property. Men are takers by nature. They take energy. That's what they do. So the more men that you're with, the more value you lose because you got so many men taken from you. After they didn't took so much from you, what do you have to offer after that? Nothing. But for a male to be with a woman or multiple women, women bring life. Women bring gifts. Males don't bring gifts. Males bring a bag to take all of the gifts from you. That's what they do. Women are gift givers. They give. So the more women that men have, the more gifts that they have coming from all over. Women give life, men take life. So as a woman, why would you want a high body count? Why would you want so many men taken from you so that you can be depressed? You can have anxiety. You can have all of these demons. I think that was very clear. Very, very clear to my understanding what she the way she breaks it down body count pertaining to women that was very clear so i don't want to see you ladies and TikTok crying saying chad and pookie break my heart they don't want to commit because guess what guys you are the ones that create this hookup culture thank you for having all these rights thank you for giving up the sweet watery guts so easily thank you Time for comedy get you guys want some comedy all right roll the tape you like white women or black women more i don't discriminate as long as it's wet if your girlfriend is not making you angry uh -huh. she's fake hey! <laughs> real girlfriend acts like evil spirit Jesus! No, no, no. <laughs> the 
section of the brain that men do not have. It's a little area that co it's, collects all the data of all the years you, from the moment she met you, of all the things you did wrong, it goes in that little area over there to be brought up just for training and quality purposes. <laughs> <laughs> married men will always tell you uh -huh. they are not happy in their marriage <laughs> but their wife keep getting pregnant Jesus! Jesus! a woman's brain is divided into two a woman's brain a woman's a woman's brain is divided into two sides a woman's brain is divided into two sides where we have the left side and the right side on the left side of a woman's brain there is nothing right <laughs> and on the right side of a woman's brain there is nothing left <laughs> i want problems always hey really taylor swift the swifty is gonna be mad at you for doing this i am a swifty yeah. Real gangster. Give me the money in the safe. Or get hit with A. Bah! My chopper gonna spray. Mm -mm. My chopper gonna spray. Mm -mm. I pull off in the race. I'ma catch a case. My chopper gonna spray. Mm -mm. My chopper gonna spray. Mm -mm. Because I'm ruthless. So you better keep it moving. Won't hesitate, I'm shooting. We gon' ride on a op pop, we gon' slide. I'm out here selling, wait, 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 wait. I'ma make it shake, 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 shake. You busters ain't safe, 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 safe. I'ma let it off, let it off. I'm out here selling, wait, 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 wait. Excuse me, I've been like menacing for a while. Why are you following me? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Actually, my mom told me to follow my dreams. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Can I take you out on a date then? I would love to, but my because I'm Chinese, so my parents wouldn't really allow me to date outside of my place. I'm actually from China too. No way, are you? Yeah, because I'm trying to get in those pants later tonight. <laughs> Do we need men? Honestly, no. Do we need men? Not always. Do we need men? No. Do we need men? No. Why? They suck. Uh, we've reached the end of another video guys you've been watching modern fusion thank you for joining don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're if you have not as yet guys stay safe it's a crazy world crazy time we're living in guys peace whenever in doubt zoom out until next time baby love you